This is the TLC clinic with Cindy and Crystal on October 24th, 2015. I'm going to let both videos go through regular and then do a slow play review. On the left is the morning, on the right is the afternoon. That was a huge improvement. You cut off time from the morning to the afternoon. That was a huge improvement, Cindy. Really proud of you on um, on the change in your riding. The biggest thing is after I rode your mare, I mean, I really, really enjoyed her. She, um, If you help her get her rate, she will turn the barrel on her own. She's a very nice mare. But um, right now, you're not going to the horn and the turns except for third barrel. So there's two things that I want you to practice, and that is um, sitting two or three strides before the barrel, and then dropping your outside rein and going to the horn in the turn and just guiding her instead of pulling on her. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go in slow play motion and we're going to review it. Um, both in the morning and the afternoon you have pretty nice approach to the barrel. Uh, if anything you're a little bit uh, tighter on your arc uh, in the afternoon in the morning than in the morning, but um, still at the tracks where the tracks cross is your place where you need to start sitting down and raiding your horse. And I want you to look at the difference in your body. You're sitting up and stiff as a board here, and your butt, you're tucking your seat, really tucking your seat at, in the afternoon. And that's the improvement I wanted to see. One, two strides a rate, but the only thing is, you're still doing better in the afternoon with your body position. The morning, you were totally leaning forward, and that makes it hard for her. If you're not on your butt, she's not on her butt. So see how you two mirror each other? You're off your hips, she's off her hips. So if you could sit through the turn, she could get under herself. See on this side, she sets her pivot foot. You're out of the saddle right now, but, the, but you do sit a little bit better. See right there? See the difference? Um, you're really tucking your butt again, and here your body's too forward. So that allows her, look at the difference on how she can cut a barrel when you actually sit down in the turns. So that helps her. Again, you're a little too handsy. Um, you know, I'd rather see you go to the horn instead of leaning over the barrel and pulling on the rein so much. Your hands were better in the uh, afternoon than in the morning. Here you're really pulling on her. Here you're just guiding. But you're balancing a little bit on the reins when I'd rather see you um, not do that to her and just sit down and go to the horn. So right here, again, look at the afternoon versus the morning. The morning's on the left and you're almost upright. Um, in the morning sitting up and see she's not underneath herself and then right here you're tucking your butt so now watch what happens to her boom she sets her pivot foot gets under herself because you're sitting more she's able to get under herself more but again look at your hands high high we need to get those hands lower so we got to get those reins shorter we shortened them a lot but they were very long um, and then right there you fuss with her face again too much you have a tendency to want to look in see your heads cock to the inside and what I want you to learn to do is look when you're coming to the barrel right here okay you need to look where you want her feet to go you want her to look right there that's your spot that you need to be looking and that's about four feet past um, to the side of the barrel and about four feet past four feet to the side four feet past that's your spot to be looking at do not look at the barrel or you will hit the barrel okay or you will pull your horse into the barrel so again um, I don't like this one. You're leaning forward and pulling backwards. In this one, you're sitting better, but you're still pulling. So your hands are just too heavy. Go to the horn. Do not fuss with her. You blew out wide on this one. Um, at least this one, you used your leg more and recovered better, but you're still not sitting in your way too much in her face. So second barrel is the hardest barrel for you right now, and that's the one I want you to really work at the most. Look how nicely you sat here. You sat a lot better here than here. You're almost upright again. You're really starting to tuck your seat. But again, high hands, high hands get a high head. So your hands need to be down here, horn high. All right? And that might require shortening the reins, but it also, woo, that third barrel was fast. I couldn't even keep up with you. Um, 
that might require not only, um, but see, she's luckily for you, you got your rate, and so she, after you got your rate, she just wanted to turn. But again, look at your body. You've got to sit through the turns and get up when you're leaving the barrel at the exit point right there. Just try to stay seated on the back side until you get to there. And then get up and hustle with her so you can go in stride with her. You have long, strong legs and you're able to keep up with her. So you did a really good job. So what your homework is going to be, um, I want you to set up maybe three barrels in a row like this. And I want you to start in a straight line. And I want you to go two hands, sit, go to the horn, circle. Two hands, sit, go to the horn, circle. Two hands, sit, go to the horn, circle. And then go up here, stop, roll back, and then go the other way. You'll ride two hands until you're almost to the barrel. Sit down, sit early, sit before the barrel. Then you'll go to the horn at the barrel and ride one hand around the barrel. Get up two hands, right before the barrel, sit, then go to the horn at the barrel, circle. Get up two hands, and this will get your mus muscle memory. Do it at a walk, trot, and a lope. Go cue. If you don't have room for three barrels in your arena, then just set up two in a row and do the same thing. Okay, so it'll be a go cue, sit cue for rate, go to the horn when you get your leg clear as a barrel for your turn cue. And then do the same thing the other way. Two hands, sit for rate, go to the horn, circle, and you'll do two lefts and two rights that way. Rate before the barrel, go to the horn at the barrel, circle the barrel one-handed. That will train your muscle memory. Get ready for doing better when you compete. Great job. Uh, also work on her basics that we discussed. Other than that, I really enjoyed working with both of you. Crystal's a really nice mare.